everyone, it's Marcia from stampingwithmarcia.blogspot.ca. Today I have a fun little project to share with you. Aren't they cute? They are little uh, tea light holders. Here's one. This is how it will start with. These little containers. You just pop the tea light in and close the lid. And so this is the finished product. Aren't they cute? I have a little ribbon around some of them. So let's get started. So today we're going to be using crisp cantaloupe and calypso coral for ours. And we're going to be using this from the stamp set Petal Potpourri. And I've chosen this one and this little one right here. So what you'll need is just a scrap piece of white cardstock. And then your stamps are already mounted. And so the first one is going to be calypso coral. Sorry if it's a little shaky. Yeah. Try not to shake it. Oh, I'm going to have to do that one again. Try not to shake the camera. Or the table, sorry. It's a little bit better. And then, I'll just shut this because I have a tendency to get ink all over me. So, for the next one, for the little the little center of the flower, we're going to use crisp cantaloupe, but we're going to stamp off. So, stamp off. See how it's much lighter? This is the way I want it because you can still see the difference, but I wanted it a lot lighter. Alright, so then now we need our punches which we'll be using this one that matches for the flower. Oh good, it didn't fly everywhere. And then for the little center of the flower, it's the half inch circle punch that works out just perfect. Oh! That was flying at me. So the next step is what I do, is I cut up each petal. Because I want to actually curl them. Kind of, I really wanted a, a 3D effect. Doesn't take long, I'm almost done. Yep, done. And then what you do is you take your bone folder and you curl them you can curl them up or down, it doesn't matter. I'm going to curl them up for these ones. Just like this. And you can curl them as much or as little as you want. And I don't want to forget, we're going to take our pear pizzazz and we're going to stamp another big flower out of it. And as you can see on this one, that's our leaves. That's what we want it to look like, so it'll end up looking like that, but night, like finished, All right? So we'll bring this back in, I'll leave it like that, and what you need is about three dimensionals on there, because I don't know if you can see, there's a little rim, and so we want it to pop up a little bit. So I use three, I don't, you may not necessarily need three, that's your choice. I'm just going to go ahead and stick that on. Now centering it, of course. And, um, I'm just going to put snail on the back of this. I don't want this one popped up. Just a little right in the center is more than enough. And I just offset it so that you can see the, the leaves. Up. And for this, I want a dimensional because I want it. I want to see it. Just like that. See how quick and easy these are. And then I have about let's see six and a half inches of ribbon. This is from the uh, celebration catalog, the free stuff that we got. So this is. Uh, Clipso Coral. 
side. So we're just going to adhere it all the way around. And for that I'm going to get my silicone mat because I end up getting sticky stuff everywhere. And I find this just works perfectly. It has enough uh, stickiness to, to last. Right. See? See how I got the sticky stuff? Alright, so you just put it around the top. Go over, so you've just gone over right there. See? Just like that. Curl that up. And I've also noticed that when you open it, see how it's like that? To me, that's not very pretty. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of Clipso Coral cardstock with the one and three quarter punch and punch out a circle that should fit exactly there so it all matches so I just need oh my poor flower snail on one side so I cover up you know as you're giving this as a gift you know they don't want to open up the lid and see that so we just put it in and add our tea light or anything you want I mean my goodness Possibilities are endless. I mean, look at the container. You can add so much little, little treats, little candies, whatever, whatever you want. Earrings, even, and then you just shut it. And so I have a pretty bouquet that are actually going to be uh, teachers' gifts at the end of the year. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know and leave a comment. Thanks.